What's up, Elite Thenx athletes? It's Chris Heria. Welcome to another video of Official Thenx. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to start freestyle. All right, so let's get started. So today, I'm gonna show you how to start freestyling calisthenics on the bar using a drill, the exact same drill that I used to first start learning myself. Now, we've been uploading a lot of workouts and a lot of you have been making some incredible transformations. So now it's time for me to show you guys how you can apply your newfound strengths. So if you've been following this channel for a while now, you should be able to do a lot of these moves that I'm about to show you right now. We're gonna go through a list of moves. We're gonna create a collection of moves that you can do on the pull-up bar. So the first one I have to show you guys is the pullover. Let me show you guys really quick what that looks like. Grab the bar, like a toaster bar, bring your hips up, pull all the way up to your belly button, let your body go all the way up. Control the negative. You see, these movements right here are basic, fundamental movements that you're gonna start using to freestyle on the bar. Now, you're gonna learn in a couple minutes that you don't absolutely need to know how to do a muscle up or a pullover to start freestyling. But these movements right here are really good, fundamental, transitional moves that if you master this, it's gonna take you to that next level, something that I did earlier in the intro, like the 360 muscle up. So now I'm gonna show you guys a couple more moves so that we have a good amount of moves in our collection so that we can start repping them out on the bar and starting that drill that I'm gonna show you guys in a couple seconds. But first, let's make sure that we can master a couple moves that we can apply in our freestyle. So now I'm gonna show you guys straight bar dips. You can get up there with a pullover or a muscle up. When you're at the straight bar dip, all the way at the top, Weight forward, all the way at the bottom. We've been doing that one for a while. All right, the next move I wanna show you guys is an L-sit. Now this one should be very familiar with you guys. You wanna lift from your core. Hands up, no movement. 90 degrees, not anywhere lower or higher. Next move I have for you guys is switching grip pull-ups. So when you do your pull-up, you're gonna have some hang time at the top. That's where you're gonna switch your grip. And the last move I have for you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys can do if you've been watching the channel, leg raises or knee raises. All right, so once you guys have been able to successfully master these moves, do them all about 10 reps each. With perfect form, you're ready to start learning how to freestyle. If you need help on any of these moves, you can always go up to thenx.com, become a member so you can get full access to all our technique guides and workout programs just so you can cover this point and get up to this point. So now we're gonna start the drill that I did when I was first getting into calisthenics, freestyling calisthenics, and how I developed my technique and my form of freestyling. And this is exactly what I did. So what I did was I knew a couple moves, like the pull-up, switch and grip pull-up, pull-over, muscle-up, a handful of moves, even leg raises, knee raises. And I knew that I could do all of these on the bar. So the drill here is to try to transition between these moves that you've learned and from one exercise to the other. Try different formulas, try different combinations. The name of the game is one, try to stay on the bar as long as you can. Two, try to incorporate repetitions. Don't just do one move or one rep, but do it multiple times. And three, you always wanna maintain your form. You still gotta maintain perfect form, but you still wanna use as many exercises as you can. And if you find yourself learning new exercises along the way, try to find a way to incorporate it into your training. So the way that we're gonna first, first start 
our very first drill, our very first combo, very first freestyle, is to choose one of the two moves I just showed you, or two moves that you can actually do on the bar, and just try to transfer from one to the other. Now that could be something super simple, like an L sit, two leg raises, or knee raises, or knee raises, to a pullover. And back into knee raises. It can literally be whatever you want it to be. It's a combo, it's a freestyle. It's in a way, a way of expressing yourself as well as getting that workout. So once you've been able to master one move to the next move, then you can as well as add in reps, try to add in a third move. So let's try to go for example, pull over, muscle up, straight bar dips, down, L sit, hold, hold, leg raises. You can go back into a muscle up. And then the list goes on. Back down, pull over. Do it again if you want to, if you can. If you get to a point where you're like, I can't do anything, I need to let go, you have to build that endurance. Stay on as long as you can. At the end, just do something simple. Right? But the whole point is to start developing a flow. Start adding more moves into your workout exercise arsenal. You know, your collection of moves. You're always, your go-to moves that you know you can always go to and be able to bring that out on the bar. Also, the more you do this, the better you're gonna get at it. You're gonna be able to also learn more moves, more skills and strengths along the way. And you're gonna be able to apply this into this technique, into this drill. So again, the drill is start off with just two moves I showed you. Do that one, you go into another one. Try to rep it out, try to stay on the bar as long as you can. Once you're very comfortable with two moves, try to throw in a third move, try to throw in a fourth move. You can either plan it out before you do it, like okay, I'm gonna go into switching grip pull-ups, then muscle up, then pull over. Since I'm already at the top of my pullover, I'm gonna go into straight bar dips. Since I will be tired at that point, I'm just gonna come down and do an L sit. You can plan it out, progress it, so that you get harder, or you can also go up there, freestyle it, to see how your body transfers into these different moves, as well as trying to find new ways to transfer into other moves. If you've never transferred from a straight bar dip to an L sit before, try it. The same goes with everything else. So, for an example, again, you can start from switching grip. Pull over. Straight bar dips. Muscle up. and the list goes on. The more you learn, the more you apply. And after a while of doing this, it should start to look something like this. so much for watching the video. I hope this drill helps you guys to start learning how to freestyle. And if you need help at the very beginning, the very beginning steps, if you feel like this is a little bit too more advanced for you, you can always go on to thenx.com, become a member, and we start you off from at the very, very beginning. We teach you all the fundamentals. Becoming a member will give you full access to all our workout programs, all our technique guides, daily workouts to getting you in the best shape of your life. And not just looking strong, but actually being strong. I've seen some of my members sign up to thenx.com and in just a couple of weeks, 
sometimes days even, they're mastering all these moves because of how we break it down into simple videos, step by step. And if you want that to be you, sign up right now with Fenix.com. Don't forget guys, we post every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And the first person to watch, like, and comment is always gonna win some Fenix gear. Next Sunday, I'm still gonna continue this series of how to freestyle with you guys, and I'm gonna show you how to jump on that bar. See you next Sunday. What's up, Elite Thetics athletes? Make sure to check out the very first episode to the vlog series on my new channel, Chris Herrington, uploading this Thursday, October 11th at 2 p.m. USA Eastern Time.